The first and main symptom of thoracic spondylosis is pain in the middle portion of the spine. It is occurred due to compression of nerve roots from disc herniation, bone spurs or thickened ligament. If back pain in thoracic spondylosis caused by an intervertebral disc herniation is made worse by sitting with bending forward during prolonged periods of time. Back pain in thoracic spondylosis caused by facet joint osteoarthritis is worse standing and relieved by sitting or bending forward. Pain in the arms and legs may be symptom of thoracic spondylosis. It occurs due to compression of nerves, which extend into the arms or legs through the thoracic portion of spine. Besides pain, thoracic spondylosis can cause weakness, numbness and cramping in the legs or arms. These conditions arise due to nerve compression too. In the severe cases thoracic spondylosis can cause compression of spinal cord and development problems with coordination and balance. 